I got all together. Um, just know on what's in here. Uh, this is just a Matrix or 5KU, SHS, whatever rebrand you want to call it. Uh, high torque motor. Uh, like I said, it's a Matrix gearbox. Um, and this is an M160 spring, so we're pulling something pretty heavy here. It's around 520 FPS last time I checked, so we're pulling something pretty heavy here. Um, as far as the battery, uh, this is a 13.2 volt uh, or 4 cell 1100 milliamp L uh, LIFE battery. Um, again, I do uh, sell, make these, customized. This is a crane stock version. Uh, so, and I will post a link in the description um, if you want to get one. Um, also, something that I do make as well is um, you can't see it in there. It's a, it's a thermal fuse. Um, and again, there will be better pictures of it on the link. So, anyways, so that's what's in here. Um, and you know, there's nothing really special about it, uh, but. Can't really have a before video because comparing uh, this, I was changing some other things while I was in there as well. So, anyways, uh, this is the basics of it. Um, your semi full. Again, I'm not really trying to. I don't want to use it that much. It's an M160 dry firing, and especially something like this is a really bad idea. But um, and so, anyways, uh, as far as programming mode, um, he gives you nice little uh, you know instructions, the, the chart to. Do all of it, um, and to enter programming mode, you simply um, take the unplug the battery first, and you hold down the trigger, and then you plug the battery in as you're holding down the trigger. And then um, I'm just not really going to set to anything right now, but if you can hear it. You know, and, and it goes by either long trigger pulls or short trigger pulls. Long um, as in about more than a second, short as in, you know, a quick little pull. And um, and every pull, it makes a little... And I don't know if you can hear that. It sounds like it's just a little light little buzz noise to let you know that it, it understands what you're saying. You know, blah, 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 I hear you. So, um, basically that's what it is. Um, I mean... As far as the last bit, again, it's I, I don't really want to dry fire this thing a bunch. Um, it's not my gun, not my gun to ruin. It's my gun to fix and make better. So um, basically, I just want to not dry fire it that much. And as far as the last, again, this is my second installation. The last one, uh, I, I went through all the features. Everything is pretty smooth. Again, it's a sensory fit. So um, you, know, you, you just tap the trigger a little bit, and once it senses that, you can let go, and it'll finish the cycle on its own. So. Um, you know, there's no such thing as like a half cock piston where it's tapping the trigger on accident, which is nice. Um, and you know, three on burst works great. All that works great just because it's a sensory fit and it knows the, it knows when the gears actually cycle. Um, so I mean, I don't have any complaint with how the features work. Um, I mean, so my biggest complaint is, again, this is my second installation. My biggest complaint is, I, I'd say reliability because I've had bad experiences. The little trigger in here broke, um, they're a pain to work on, and especially, especially, especially compatibility. I understand this is a Matrix gearbox. The last one I installed as one was a 2GX gearbox. Um, I mean, so I guess if it's a Marui gearbox, that's great, but you really, really need to be careful with compatibility. And if you're questioning the least bit that your gearbox might not be completely Marui compatible, it's really best that you just get something like the Sentry Fet, or a non-trigger FET. As in, in all honesty, I, I didn't think ADOS did enough to make sure that it's compatible with every um, version two. I mean, I understand that you can't get everyone, but I, I I just think it's really obnoxious how much I had to modify this one, the last one, how many problems I ran into, and you know, it just takes a really long time to install them. I mean, at least in my experiences. Um, it's just like I mean I've installed like I've had people come over and have me install two extreme fire fats. I've installed that quicker, than, you know, in less than I've installed two like extreme fire SWABs in less time than I have for one of these. So I mean, all in all, I, I can't say that I'd recommend this fit. Um, you know, I'm just being an honest reviewer here. I can't say that I recommend it. Uh, I, I really think that you're better off with getting something separate. Um, for example, like an Extreme Fire SWAB, those have been really great. Anything Extreme Fire, in my opinion, has been great uh, to me and from other people. And I've heard that they're, they like never break unless you smash the thing with a hammer. So, um, I mean, I'd recommend ex anything Extreme Fire. Um, I've got, I personally own ABOS's Sentry Fit. I like it a lot. So, 
I, I just can't say that a lot. I, I really like the Raptor fit. Um, so I, I recommend getting something else unless you, you're completely sure that your gearbox is completely mirror compatible. And even if it is, you have to be ready to make a lot of modification and have a lot of patience. So, um, you know, it's a great idea, but in all honesty, I think ABUS is a little bit ahead of a little bit ahead of himself when he came came up with the idea. It's a great idea, great design, but I, I can't say that I fully recommend it. So, anyways, though, um, hope you enjoyed the review, 